Hello, I'm Dread Zero, and welcome back to Need for Speed Underground 2, Part 8. Now, because there was a bit of a fuck-up with the recording last episode, I've had to ditch it. Which is why most of the races up there are cleared, including that annoying one. Not that one, but the annoying one on that triangle bit near the bottom of Jackson Hill, so I had to do that off-camera. And we had to do a few other races off-camera, simply because... Well, the recording corrupted, basically. I had a full crash. I mean, it's very, very hard to pull a recovered recording off when your computer has a full sort of... Yeah, I'm going to restart now because of reasons of fuck you. But enough of that, let's make up for lost time. We have a drag race. No, not that drag race. Get your mind out of the reality TV gutter. The only things overly done up and gaudy here are the cars you've got to do to make on the covers. If you knew what I was talking about, congratulations, you watch too much telly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the real world's outside. You might want to give it a look time to time. I mean, not the TV show The Real World, because that's a piece of junk from what I've heard. But, I mean, what the hell are you on about? It's stuff like this that gets us in trouble. True, but it's stuff like that that gets us into interesting places as well. I've just realised I'm having a conversation with myself while I'm recording, which is probably not the best sign of sanity, but hey... If I was completely sane, I wouldn't be living in this country. I'd be doing awesome stuff. So, yeah. Let's see. Stop, check. Okay. 14 out of 20 races. We could do this in this episode. Or I could bugger off and finish it in the next one. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it all depends on how much of a bloody nuisance. Because let's see. We've got 14 races to do. There's one, two... Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do them all without going up to the heights, which is good. I might just go up to the heights anyway and see what I can do, but... Well. Right now, wait, wait, wait. So I've taken that corner. This is what happens when you have to recover from a recording error. <sighs> I wish you, Pierre, I wish uninterruptible, uninterrupt, uninterruptible power supplies weren't so bleeding expensive for the stuff that my computer uses, because at least at the very least I could have a... Yep, it's fluctuating now. Boom. So that reminds me, I might do a full wall power test off this computer when I'm done. Again, I am redecorating, so maybe I'll rewire the dread cave in a bit too. Anyway, ooh, race time and the bonus. Not that I really need the bonus, because I'm on a big amount of bank. But hey, one more step towards coal, harbour, and power. I've just realised I've got to think up harbour and coal related puns. Titles, that's going to be fun. I mean, I can do Run to the Hills, The Hills of it, Your Eyes, which is probably what this one's going to be called. Wait, Hills of Eyes? What the hell are you on about? No, wait, The Hills are Alive. You see what I have to live with on a day-to-day -day basis? This brain is so scatterbrain. This brain is so scattered. If you put a tw if you put a twelve-gauge barrel on it, you could call it a shotgun. Yeah, I I don't even know where to come back from that one. Still, that's what makes me appealing to you, up right, right, guys. What's suddenly gone quiet in here? Oh, you were just out getting drinks, I hope. Oh well. You know, it's really weird that if anyone was actually listening in on this, you creepy bastards if you are. I mean, listening in isn't listening to me recording, not listening to me on the recording that is now hopefully on YouTube, or if it's gone really successful elsewhere on the internet, and... Well, if you heard someone talking to themselves like this, you would probably think they're absolutely mad. This doesn't sound like the sort of conversation you'd have on the bloody phone. Even if I am pausing about right, just to let my brain sort of not think of anything mad. I mean, hell, I made a joke involving squirrel costumes, but, well, that's staying off the record. I'm quite bloody glad of that, too. Let's put it this way. Do not watch bad movies before doing any form of recording. Yes, you are not. If you know what bad movie I'm on about... Please do not put in the comments, because no one deserves to sit through that, as it is truly an offence. In fact, it's so much of an offence, I'm getting yeah, I'm getting reports through from Geneva that the United Nations have just banned it as a form of torture. New race. Yeah, I know how to brake. You hold down the left button, you keep the wheels straight, and you pray they don't overheat. 
Ooh, money! So, yeah, okay. We're still on 14 out of 20. Oh, right, yeah, because that was a uh, sponsor event. Let's see if this blooming... That's a point. Wait, what was that? About turn! Wasn't that that caught my eye? Secret circuit race! Fuck no. Seriously, fuck no. I am not doing a four, eight mile circuit race. Because I'm going to have to, because there's at least... Now mm, we'll see how long this one is and make an educated guess based on that. Okay. Ah, 3.4 of the straight. So, yeah, this should be fairly easy. It's not the length that gets you, it's the curves that are annoying. So this one's got a nice back straight, so it should be fine. Pickups permitting. <sighs> right. Okay. And now pickuping. Let's drive! I mean, it's still three point three and a half miles, so it's seven mile race, and at the... Right, I'm crashing, I should do that by January. Fuck that. Get back on the tarmac as quickly as possible and put the pedal to the metal to the other metal. Wait, what? Also, no, do not watch Futurama before this. No, really. Do not watch Futurama before... In fact, try and keep your brain as clear of anything before watching... Watching? No. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Your brain gets completely utterly clogged up with all kinds of mental gunk and you then have to basically stick your head into your pillow and go bibble 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 about half a dozen times just to unclog and actually get it to work properly. Which is probably the mental equivalent of shoving a depth charge up each nostril to clear sinusitis, but, well... Not to say I haven't tried that, but do you have any idea how hard depth charges are to get hold of these days? I know. Wait, you mean you've tried to? Doesn't matter, though, because we're coming up on the fast bit now. So let's see what we can actually get out of this thing now that we're actually driving on a flat straight bit designed to be fast. 150. 150. There we go, there we go. And some nitrous to bump it up to 155. I'd say this thing's got a top end of 160, driver permitting and track permitting, but... Well. Yeah. 161? I wasn't that far off. Still. Since I can keep going on the high, I have to take the inside route next time because I might be on a bit of a low straight, but, well, doesn't matter because I'm on the overcharge of the nitrous bar so I can keep getting some lovely, lovely race breaker overfills. Ooh, that was close. That was a brown trousers close! And that was a change of underwear close. Doesn't matter. Jason out of it and whom? Like a boss. Even though we're now four seconds behind because of reasons. Still, nothing we can't solve with a bit of furious driving. I said furious driving. Well, not necessarily fast, because that would probably get me sued. Even if it is less of a street movie and now more about, ah, now Vin Diesel has been trying to rob the world of some secret Mayan bullshit by driving really, really fast in a street race in North Korea. I know what voice that was. That was half Jimmy Clarkson, and how half overly enthusiastic Hollywood movie announcer. Actually, that's a point. Could you imagine Jimmy Clarkson announcing Hollywood movies? This summer, Colin Farrell is the best secret agent in the world. That's probably going to sound crap on the mic, but you get the point. Now I want to see Jeremy Clarkson in Kingsman. Beating up, I don't know, the Green Party while the Clash plays. After all, he fought the law. And he won. No idea what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but it sounded good in my head. And I've taken the wrong exit again, like a nump skull of the D bag variety. Still, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 Is what you hear 
well, I'm not actually going to finish that sentence because my brain's just realised, yep, you're not getting out of that one, but hey, for now, circuit race is down. Let's go back and clear the other, hang on, that was a four mile one, hang on, sorry, I need to think again. Okay, so that's 16, 17, 18, 19, damn it, I have to do another one. Or I could just fuck off to the top of the hill and get drifting. So, yay. In fact, if I do the top of the hill one off camera, yeah, I should be able to manage that, because that one's just a... But then again, that... Yeah, driving all the way up to the top of the hills would suck. Especially as you guys have to record, watch it, and there's not much you can read. Well, I don't know, are you here for the gameplay or for me? I mean, if you're here for me, Say in the comments and say what you like, say what you don't like, because then I can make myself better to everyone. Of course, don't say, I oh, dislike the fact you're British. There's no great deal about that. I can really fucking change, is there now? Besides, who are you if you don't like the British? A bloody Archie? Bloody. God damn. No! No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, that is karma in action. Unless you're Jeremy Clarks, in which case Karma is having a very large... What's I saying? Oh yeah. A very large Lotus Esprit drive through the Argentinian President's office tomorrow morning. Just, yeah. Reasons and stuff. And a backflip! Nothing says important like a sentence backflip by a punctuating sport... A, yeah, backflip by a punctuate... How even does a sports car punctuate? I mean, that sounds like a great name. And now, the sports car punctuators. Yeah, but that nah, just doesn't work. See what I have to do? Yeah, my brain is not a very safe place. Seriously, it's not safe for the person whose brain it is. Never mind anyone who actually tries to get inside it. Hell, if I mean, they have the Thras is sort Thras from Psychonauts is sort of a, I don't know, should we say a day tripper, a hiker? And even the Bear Grylls equivalent of mind trippers, or whatever the hell they're called in Psychonauts, I can't really remember right now because I'm too busy overtaking a golf and some hairpins. Or whatever the hell the really experienced Psychon. Oh, wait, they're called Psychonauts, aren't they? Duh, it's in the title, you great dingus. Oh, it's three laps of this as well, oh my fucking god! Circuit racing is boring. Point to point is where it's at. And of course you take the outside route because it's faster. Like everyone else. Which means they have brains. Even if you don't because you crashed. You prick. Yeah. Seriously, I now feel like a colossal idiot for forgetting the name of the mental explorer type person in Psychonauts is called a Psychonaut. <sighs> Speaking of Psychonauts, you've heard that he's going to announce that, who, uh, Tim Schafer has announced Psychonauts 2. You know what's going to happen, it's going to be another space-based DF9 and we all bloody know it. Pity too, but, well, could be worse. Could be making Brutal Legend 2 and forget to include Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. And again, we all know Brutal Legend 2 is never getting bloody made. Which is a pity, because I want a heavy metal game. Every game's soundtrack these days is sort of sounds like or Radio 1 or a dial-up modem having a seizure. Or all of the above, combined. And it'd just be great just to have sort of an option of soundtrack. Iron Maiden, Judas Priest. Now you could probably fit some punk in there too. I'm sort of a splinter group. And now Splinter Group has got me thinking of a group of humanoid rats who practice Kung Fu. Did I say I've got a 90s kid's brain? Because I've got a 90s kid's brain. Speaking of which, I now have a really weird urge to go and eat chocolate cereal and watch Neil Buchanan in a game show where there's a lot of kids that trash a mock-up house. I don't know what I'm on about. Okay. Seriously, if there was a sort of test for, are you on a drug trip? I don't have a worrying feeling I would probably pass. 
on the mental side and completely pass a substance test, which will probably be fun if I ever have to do one. Are you in se are you currently tripping major balls of the way you think? Yes. Have you crashed into any purple hatchbacks while talking about psychoactive substances? Yes. Have you forgotten what you were saying in this conversation? Yes. Again, my brain. Whoa. Speaking of whoa... I mean... You've heard they're making another Point Break movie. I mean, okay. Okay, I can appreciate a good heist movie. But I want them more in the vein of, you know, the bank job. I mean, a Hollywood-style heist is great. Lots of gunfire and shooting and suits and guns. But part of me just prefers sort of sneaky supervillain way. You know, the sort of person who, I don't know, they think of us something here, off the cuff, off the cuff, off the cuff. Who would probably fake a bomb attack to get into the Bank of England, claim all the gold in there is, I don't know, fake gold, and that they need to take it away for evidence purposes while getting a police escort to get them safely out of the city all the while the police escort is getting the real gold out of the city where they transfer cars a few times once they're out of sight of the choppers. And, well... I've probably said too much already and I'm probably on another government watch list for people who have a plan to b to raid the Bank of England. Now, even if we don't raid it, it'll all get spent on... I don't know, blooming MP salaries like... Pig hookers instead of, you know, useful things like mental health care and hospitals and making sure that the schools actually have more than three figures of funding. Yeah, I know. Another clip of a purple hatchback? You bastards. You bastarding of bastards. And I seem to have somehow channeled a bit of Winston Churchill. We shall fight them on the bridge house. We shall fight them on the streets. We shall fight them whenever they make a crap sequel to a game. We shall never surrender. Even if we are doing slightly shit accents. I have no idea who that degenerated into. No, really. I have no idea who the fuck that even was meant to be. Still, now that I'm done with this, I'm going to... Well, not done, but almost done. I'm going to cross the line, get back to gameplay mode... And, well, because I can't be asked with another frigging circuit race, even if it did unlock something that awesome. Because let's see, I'm on 16 races. I've got, that's, that make it 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to set course for that one up there, do that one off screen, and then head back to that one. So until then, while I'm still driving in the right direction-ish, oh, don't forget to like, sorry, or rate. You can dislike if you want, as long as you tell me why you disliked it. Comment. Well, that's basically you telling me why you disliked it. Share and subscribe. And until next time, with me, not crashing, bye! <laughs>